I've been a newsletter dabbler for over a decade. I was an early user of MailChimp back when they were all the rage. I mean, I even have MailChimp socks. But there's a new 800 pound gorilla in the newsletter space and it's called Beehive. And it's honestly inspired me to build a newsletter as a business and that's what I'm gonna do. And this series is going to take you along on that journey. So let's get started. So newsletters as a business have been a hot topic for the last few years. We've got Morning Brew, The Hustle, 1440, a bunch of other huge newsletters. But then we've also seen some niche-focused newsletters with smaller subscriber numbers, but they're still extremely profitable businesses. We had The Milk Road focusing on crypto, got The Rundown and Superhuman, they both focus on AI, The Published Press from Colin Samir, which focuses on the creator economy. And they all have a common thing. They are all running on Beehive. So Beehive's been taking the newsletter world by storm. Email stuff aside, they've built a one-stop shop platform where you can create and run an entire newsletter business. Detailed subscriber metrics, referral program, recommendation network to boost your own publication and recommend other publications and make money off of it, and an ad network that they just introduced. Now, it's lacking some things that you might find in other email programs, but they ship updates fast. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a startup ship so many updates so quickly. So if there's a feature that isn't on the platform now that might be in another program, I have pretty high confidence that they're going to introduce it very soon. So honestly, the Beehive platform and having all these tools available made me want to create a newsletter and newsletter business. But what do I make it about? The newsletter needs to intersect three important areas. One, I need to be knowledgeable about it. Two, it needs to be about a niche that's underserved. And three, I need to be interested in it. So an idea at the center of this is what I'm looking for. And then it hit me, virtual production. All right, so what is virtual production? It is a growing way that films are now being shot and made. It is using a background that is an LED wall. And that background is projecting a virtual set or other type of background. But the thing that makes the magic happen and makes the perception real when you're filming is your camera is also being tracked. So as the camera moves, the LED wall or the virtual background, the perspective is also shifting. So you're free to move the camera around in the space. Your perspective changes and looks accurate as if you were in a real physical space. But everything in the background is virtual. It is computer generated or just an image of something else, but it's being projected or displayed on an LED screen. So the newsletter is not just about virtual production, it's about the latest technology that is changing the way they're making movies, everything from using AI to generate videos, to photogrammetry, which is like scanning real life scenes and turning them into something digital, like here, like this room. I'm not actually in this room. This is a 3D scan of a room. No, I'm joking, I actually am in this room right now, but I did 3D scan this room. But the technology like that, that is what the newsletter is going to cover. Now, going back to my trifecta one i am knowledgeable about this so i know a lot about the industry i've been covering filmmaking tools and stuff for filmmaker magazine for like 10 years when just this past year we went to nab which is a big film conference filmed a bunch of videos so we actually interviewed a lot of these companies that are involved in virtual production so i already know a lot of the people this is stuff i read about anyways so I have the knowledge and also obviously i'm interested in this this is something that does interest me so when it does get tough i'm like yes i still like this stuff i'm still interested in it and then Third one, underserved. So there are other publications that focus more on either visual effects as like a broad category or cinematography as sort of a broad category. There isn't stuff, there's some blogs and there's some other things, but I haven't really seen any newsletter publications that are specifically focusing on virtual production and other tools under this umbrella. So I do believe that it is an underserved niche in an area, but there's like a specific thing we can carve out that isn't being addressed right now. And so question slash x marks the spot and then obviously launching the newsletter we need a name i always toy around with a lot of names uh, but this one i settled on vp land a vp for virtual production even though the scope of what the newsletter is going to cover has expanded a bit beyond just virtual production and more just about anything that is new tech related to making videos so it's currently November now, and I'm kind of filling in the back gaps in this series. So let's rewind to June. That is when we officially launched. So we got the idea for the newsletter. We've got the niche figured out. We've got the name for the newsletter. Getting it up and running on Beehive is really easy. We just made a new publication, filled out some of the basic info, and in a couple of seconds, we're able to get at least a very basic web page, a subscribe page up, and a design for the newsletter. That's all evolved over time, and I'll explain how we change things and how we're able to work with the Beehive platform in future episodes. But up and running pretty quickly to get this newsletter out. And so that is the start of the journey that we're going to go on to 
get you up to speed and then kind of what's happening right now. So to tease a little bit about what we're going to cover, uh, we're going to talk about getting the initial subscribers. Uh, currently, the newsletter is at about 450, but there was a point where it was at about 600 or 700. And I'll explain why the numbers dropped intentionally uh, a lot lower. Uh, growing the newsletter, figuring out all design, figuring out the content, how we build the newsletter, all that stuff we'll cover in future episodes. But also let me know what kind of things you would like to see or know about in the comments below so that I can make videos about them. If you want more like tutorial things with working with Beehive or you want more like how I'm thinking about the business of the newsletter, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you are interested in just subscribing and being a subscriber to VP Land, if that does interest you, please subscribe. That'll also be in the comments below or you can just go to mtm.link slash VP Land. And also if you are interested in newsletters itself, I've got a link to sign up for Beehive in the description below. So I've got a couple things to check out. And if you did like this video and you want to see more of it, thumbs up, subscribe, you know the deal. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.